hi so now let's discuss something more about chat gpt okay now i will tell you about chat gpt role prompting okay mm hmm look what actually is role prompting look a simple way to add the content or the context to a prompt is to assign a role to chat gpt okay let me write the definition a simple way to add context to a prompt is to assign a role sorry role to chat gpt what is the meaning of this let me take you by an example just suppose your prompt start with you are a lawyer or you are a poet and then you will ask the question then it will give you the same output what type of output actually you want okay let's start by doing it practically just suppose i am telling chat gpt that you are a poet okay and now means respond now respond like that respond to the following okay let me give something uh, so that it could convert it to poetry part because right now chat gpt is poet okay let's explain the most important way chat gpt uh, important chat gpt can help me and let me write some, write some specific the answer in as w e r the answer should uh, be no more then let's say 100 words let me close important okay so what i have written i have written you are a poet this role i am giving to chat gpt you are a poet and now respond the following instructing him okay i am following the general specific rules explain the most important way chat gpt can help me and the answer should be no more than 100 words so if i'll run this now it have given me like a poet in words and twinned i'll print a scene of chat gpt's aid profound and keen with wisdom vast it lends its grace guiding path through time and space just like a poetry understood what we did here actually by giving chat gpt a role we are adding context and we can even add more detail to the role by specifying what we more expectedly want okay just suppose let me take another example um delete it delete it okay let me write another example um you are a personal trainer okay now i am treating chat gpt like a personal trainer and you have a knowledge uh, led uh, about let's say uh, nutrition okay uh, exercise uh, i have written a wrong spelling of nutrition nutrition okay exercise and uh, e x c e r c i s e 
have written right spelling okay exercise and uh, uh, let me write and some other information about health understood so always on a n s w e r answer with the goal of let's say improving strength and uh, fitness means fitness goal uh, and health okay improving improving is strength is strength um and strength fitness and health and let me write some uh, queries also now respond the following what i did here i assigned a role of personal trainer i have given a specific knowledge to this personal trainer which i am treating as a chat gpt now the chat gpt will respond me according to the role what i have offered him okay uh explain uh what i can uh, give it uh, i can give um, the same answer the same answer what let me help explain uh, the most important way chat gpt can help me okay and the answer should uh, no more than 100 words the same what i have given in the previous uh, prompt right chat gpt can help me the answer should more than 100 words okay right now i am uh, it is a personal trainer and he have this in this knowledge all are specific and i am i want this one so if i'll run this look what he have given me chat gpt can immensely helpful by providing personalized guidance and education on nutrition exercise and health related topic by leveraging its vast knowledge base and understanding of individual need it can offer tailored recommendation okay answer a specific question and provide practical advice to improve your strength fitness and overall health whether you are seeking a workout routine dietary tips or motivation to stay on track chat gpt can serve as a reliable source of information and support helping you to make informed decision and progress toward your goal effectively so this what i actually want from the chat gpt okay this is the specific answer as per the specific question understood in this way you can assign a multiple roles to produce the different different type of result if you will treat it like a lawyer then it can give you uh, some more about laws right as per different different countries norms if you treat it like a yoga teacher it will tell you some yoga tips if you uh, uh, act it like a cave man then it will uh, tell you about some historic time how the people uh, uh uh where eating surviving reproducing something okay so these are the basic tips of uh, the assigning a role to chat gpt okay look a response is basically from a generative ai okay you should understand this these all are the ai right so Uh, you should treat it like an ai and try to give a specific information okay so i hope uh, this all concept has given you an idea of how to use roles to give the prompt to get the more out of it okay if you have any doubt just do a comment i'll let you know via video or i'll just 
reply to your message okay so see you in the next section till then bye bye